This year has just started, but it already holds a lot of simple yet beautiful memories that warms my soul this winter. And I think it would be fair to start off this vlog with the first memory, which is the New Year's party. Here's an outfit of the day. And a bow. Winter is no doubt my absolute favorite season alongside autumn. However, the city I live in doesn't often get snow, and if it does, then it will probably melt in a span of a couple of days. So this morning, when I looked at the window and saw everything covered in a thick layer of snowy blanket, I immediately got ready to head off for a walk to my favorite park. And yes, I have already taken you there with me in the autumn vlog. The whole park today was covered in so much snow that it felt like I landed myself in Narnia. So I have decided to live this fantasy for the span of the moment and to let the child inside enjoy it to the fullest. By the way, there are a lot of squirrels in this park. Last time when I was here, I saw like four at the same time. And I considered it to be a lucky thing, honestly. But gosh, it's so beautiful. This chilly evening, I have decided to try out bacon cranberry orange abundant cake following my mother's recipe. However, I don't have a bacon tray to make it abundant, so it will be just a cake or a bread. <laughs> And before I leave you here to watch the video, I just want to mention two minor mistakes I did when preparing the batter so you won't. First is I used a little too much flour and second is I forgot to cut the cranberries, but I think it's just a preference so it's not such of a big of a mistake.
Despite the fact of Gage not being as fluffy as expected, it's still got praised by my flatmate and her friend, and I myself enjoyed a couple of slices too. And using margarine instead of butter made the texture and flavor appear more delicate, so definitely recommend. And overall, I think it was still a win. Hi! I actually have no idea how to start this section of the video because I have never done something like this before but I figured out that I will still share some of the things that I got in the previous month of January and all of them are pretty much gifts and starting off with this vest that I have on me right now which was a gift from two of my favorite people and you already actually saw them in my previous vlogs. I have been trying to find a perfect vest that I can wear that would give dark academia slash light academia kind of a vibes and this one was just perfect. I love it. I love it a lot. I actually wore it quite often this month. And also I have necklaces which are also gift from the girls. Third thing from the wardrobe would be this cardigan. It's very cozy, it's very soft, kind of plushy a little bit, and I just adore it. Last thing in the wardrobe list would be this sweater. It's very chunky, it's quite thick, it's perfect for winter, and it just gives Wednesday Adams a lot. <laughs> Let's name this section of the video others because it's just a mix of different things that I also got as a gift for New Year's or Christmas and first of the things would be this book. This is a book by Jonathan Stroud, one of my favorite and underrated authors right there who wrote Lockwood & Co. and yes, Lockwood & Co. is now available on Netflix to watch. I Okay, I'm not gonna be actually talking about the TV show because this is not what we're here for. Maybe I will do a review on it, but for now, I am reading this book, The Outlaws, Scarlet and Brown. I'm quite enjoying it, however, I don't have a lot of time to read it, but I am trying to when I have time. But so far, as you can see, I have already some notes taken. Another thing that I got on New Year's, it's actually very heavy, it's like three kilograms each, if not more, but this is these guys. It is candles and they are huge. They are like a full, like real human skull size. They used a mold for it, but they got a mold for, from something. I'm not gonna go deep into it, but they are gorgeous. They are so beautiful and I actually named them Romeo and Juliet. I don't know <laughs> where is whom. You can figure it out for yourself, but yeah, I think it's, it's quite creepy, but that's what I'm going with, so <laughs> I do love them a lot. And last, but definitely not least, this is... Uh, I don't know how to actually explain all the emotions that I have going on and that I had when I received this gift from my boyfriend, but this is like every writer's dream, I think, to have a typewriter. But my apartment is pretty small and I do share it with three other people. So the storage space is definitely not the biggest one but i have actually found out first time for myself that there could be keyboards that would look like a typewriter so behold there is one it does light up but you know what i always keep it down because having a colored kind of a lead light for this type of a classic looking typewriter is a little bit mismatched <laughs> but it does has a lot of cool functions to it like for example this thing right here i'm not sure how it's called i'm pretty much sure that there is a name to it but it can change the type of lead lighting and this scroller over here can actually adjust the volume on your device and this scroller in the left side of the typewriter can change the brightness of light lighting what is cool about this keyboard is that you can connect to any type of device via bluetooth I love it! It's so just... I'm not sure that you can actually hear it in the camera. Besides the obvious keyboard click, there is just one small type of a click that gives a little of an accent of a typewriter that I really, really love. I definitely recommend it. I'm gonna leave it down below for you to check it out.